Hi, I want to show you uh, one of our 1860 stealth welds. This is built for a customer in Virginia area looking to do um, quite a bit of musky fishing. We're here on the Muskegon River. My dogs were barking at the truck. I just want to go over and see on this. This is an 18 foot uh, stealth weld aluminum boat. It's got 8 inch sides, 3 16 bottom. If you're looking at other people's boats, definitely check the bottom thickness. It really matters when you're doing stuff. This has got a, uh, a very cool bottom, 3 16 aluminum. And then a vacuum bag, plastic, like a snowboard, same thing as a snowboard in Street industry on the bottom. This is a vacuum bag UHMW bottom. We truck bed liner, everything else. The outside, the inside, we put our cool patent pending spider webbing on it. Everybody likes that. This boat's set up pretty cool. It's got a 24 volt um, Tarova iPilot trolling motor. It's got an SI transducer on it. Big old Helix 10 on the top. That comes with a foot pedal or a, a um, remote control. Our rail system is really good for rod holders. Um, I really like these rod holders. They're real simple. The way they unlock and lock. They go in really easy. You have to do that little fiddle thing. It's got an extension on there, really solid. You can catch a salmon or steelhead on them. You can slide them up or down here on any of the rail system. Other than that, it's pretty simple. Onboard charger in the back, front and rear, kind of what they call like bump seats. One of our really nice galvanized trailers here. Vortex hubs. Those have a six year, 100,000 mile warranty. Uh, this goes up and down here, I think. So you could stand on this or sit on this back deck and fish. 11580 Mercury Jet with COVID stuff. They've been pretty hard to get a hold of. Got our flow pods here. Really nice to get in and out of the boat. They also are kind of like a trim tab. They balance the boat out. This boat also has a tunnel on it. We'll show you the back of the boat here. Rod storage, both sides. Nice narrow tackle trays. Everything's super sturdy. The bottom here has got tread plate on it. Another thing that we do is the way we foam our boats on our aluminum is very high tech. Gives the boat a lot more rigidity, a lot more of a fiberglass style ride you'd really enjoy. This has got one of our stealth coolers on it. You can fit one or two on it. You'll see when we design this, um, it has a lot tighter locking system compared to the others. Catch less line. We bolted a slide on here. It's got even like a pressure relief on it. It holds air and ice so well. This is kind of a combo council. It's half on, half off. We have a hatch here. So you have storage here. Um, Fire extinguisher there, binnacle style controls, gas, fuel gas uh, gauge goes all the way to the back. This is a power winch, bilge pump, interior, exterior lights, interior lights here, a light under here, a light under there. It's got this big old hatch door here, lots of storage here. All these hatches lock. That has a whole bunch of storage. There's a whole bunch of storage here. Lots of storage up there. River Larry power system, 24 volt system, so it's super fast. It's got off-road lights. These caps on here, these have 13,000 lumens on them. Just about fry your hand, but it definitely has lots of light. Everybody loves those. Once again, the interior has got a nice rugged truck bed liner. 
tread plate everywhere you want. Tread plate or diamond plate as you call. So you get lots of grip with that truck bed liner. Another one of these guys here if you want to hang out and uh, fish. I think that brings it up and down. This makes it swivel. If you fish up here. This one doesn't have oar locks. This customer didn't want to mess with them. Most of our boats are set up for rowing. Tarova iPilot trolling motor we talked about. Giant TV screen, Helix 10. Mercury 11580. It's got the vessel view that you can um, run to your phone, see everything your phone, um, your boat, your motor is doing, all the codes, RPM, hours used, all kinds of stuff. You can see with the 18 foot boat, I got lots of room. Dogs are happy. Everyone's happy. This boat's got plenty of power with that motor. We'll show you that here in a little bit. We'll run it around on the river and go from there. Thank you. One thing I wanted to show before we take this thing on a spin is some of the back end of this because you won't be able to see it as good in the water. One really cool thing for the electronics package on our aluminum boats, we weld this piece here. So the electronics package has somewhere to bolt onto that's not through the hull. Another thing really cool is this breakaway transducer. So when you hit something, it releases. One thing I want to tell guys that are buying fancy electronic systems from us is you got to remember it's a flat bottom boat. So you get to speed like maybe on plane, anything over 15 miles an hour. Sometimes you'll have a mixed reading because these are truly made for a V bottom haul where the water is, you know, the, the transducer is farther in the water. You know, you might be right at one inch of water or less with this. So just food for thought when you're not getting really good readings at high speeds. You can still run the GPS, you can still do a whole bunch of things with it, but high speeds in a jet boat, you usually have bad readings on one of these. We'll take this thing for a spin. Float pods full of foam, helps the hull go up. And we got the, the tunnel hull here, which is really nice. Um, uh, especially on our wider hulls. I don't like it on our narrower hulls because it, you do lose a little displacement. But on our wider hulls, we do like the tunnels if there's a V. We do not like tunnels if there's no V because it really creates, the V helps the cavitation issue. You do gain cavitation issues with the tunnel. That's one of the disadvantages of it. The nice thing about that V there is it pushes the water into the tunnel. So it works really nice. Um, we will show you some stuff here before it gets dark on the water. And we'll go from there. One thing people are intimidated with with some of these big boats is do they go in and off the trailer very well or how much issues is it going to be to get on and off the trailers. I'll go over a typical loading and unloading on this boat. It is a big old boat, but um, it's not really that intimidating to take it on and off if you have rollers like we do on the trailer. Nice load guide so you can drive it on. Makes things really easy. This is a 24 volt trolling motor. Well, trolling motor and power motor. And you can see that River Larry really screams. Definitely makes it go faster. A double welded loop there. So that takes your thing easy. And you can see this thing comes on and off the trailer really easy. I'm going to actually stop it here so I can fire it up. Um, this. This trailer is our middle of the road. It doesn't have the catwalk, which the catwalk is nice, but not necessarily a requirement. I'm gonna jump up in there, fire it up, loosen this up, drive it right off. Well, you can see I am still haven't got my feet wet. Waiters are not always a, a good idea, but I don't have to today. It's cold out today, so. Big jet motor fires right up. And I can kind of speed up against this, get the slack out of this.
really good we're not gonna hit her too hard it's pretty windy and cold dogs are getting a little chilly but you can see the, the 1860 stealth weld fills a lot of voids especially the modified V here that's good in the waves also so uh, you can take it out you know on a lake with some waves and that kind of stuff that should probably be our next video but uh, we're gonna go in and warm up we'll do a little video of how easy this thing is to get on the trailer we'll go from there